This is a story about a school, but not just any school. For one thing, it's about my school, Berlin Kids International, or BKIS for short. My school was built by parents who came to East Berlin from all over the world a long time ago in the 90s. They didn't know it back then, but they would create the first truly bilingual English German school in the East. To understand why you need a quick history lesson. BKIS sits on a little street called Weinstrasse. It once had a big prison on one side and nice houses on the other. Then the war came and bombs fell everywhere. The houses left were in bad shape, really bad. Then a new government took over, the German Democratic Republic. Instead of building houses, they built a wall to keep people from leaving. But then they came up with a plan for Weinstrasse, lots of apartments and two new schools next to each other. For 20 years, the school taught all of the kids who lived nearby, until one night, the wall fell. Lots of families left the east, so there were less kids to teach. Years later, new people moved to the former east, and they soon had kids of their own. That's when they saw there was no bilingual school for their children. And that's where the story of BKIS begins. When the wall fell down, there was this enormous um, uh, unbalance between, uh, uh, in the position of the schools in the urban area. So you had four um, bilingual primary school, state bilingual primary school in the west, and none in the whole center and east. I mean, they, they have Europa Schulen here, French and Spanish, but no English. It's like, What's the most important language in the world? I'm sorry, it is English. Dass es für uns eigentlich äh, nicht das Richtige war, ihn auf eine dieser teuren Privatschulen zu schicken. Weil das wäre doch wieder eine rein deutsche Sache gewesen, in der man einfach halt Deutsch und Englisch gesprochen hätte. It was a need to set up a school that was affordable, a school that was truly bilingual, and a school that really catered to the bilingual families here. I thought it was a brilliant idea, and I'm with it. The difference is that basically the motivation for this school is just parents' love. And the motivation for any other private, of many other private schools is, is business. We're not a state school. So that means that we do have to ask parents to fund their children's education. But we've made an absolute commitment, and from the beginning this was clear, and, uh, that we are not a profit-making school. Just look at our school from the outside, you know we're not a elite school, you know. In the beginning, it was a lot of just painting. Um, I cut the grass in front there. <laughs> the whole—I mean, it wasn't grass. It was just—it was a—it was just a garbage heap. It was a jungle. It's not a school that teaches children English. There's lots of other schools that do that. I think it's a very important thing to do, but there's also a huge need for the children who are growing up bilingually to come to a school where they feel at home, where there's other kids who are just like them, where it's natural to speak two languages. It's not about um, separate languages, separate identities, separate cultures. It's more about the individuals and all these pieces that make up who they are. It's very much child-centered, that is, that children really should be learning at their own pace, uh, that they should be able to define their own goals, and that they should be inspired to learn. And I think that's where the German system needs to evolve. Um, I think they need to open up uh, to the idea of making learning more three-dimensional. One of the main goals of the school is that we keep that amazing curiosity that children have and that they are 
encouraged to learn more and more and that we really uh, feed that curiosity and that ability to experiment and to learn. We don't want the kind of school where the children learn because the teacher tells them a certain fact. This is a place where the doors are always open and we expect you to come in and we expect you to be here and we expect you to participate. Good schools, successful schools, are the schools where the community and the parents are involved in the school. group of parents were given this amazing opportunity to set up the ideal school, the school that you know I would have liked to have gone to, the school that I could dream as the best possible school for my children. Wo starke Persönlichkeiten sind, wo Menschen mit Ausdauer sind, dann kommt auch irgendwann der Erfolg und das sieht man an dieser Schule besonders. When you have 20, 30 cultures instead of a monoculture, you have a richness that is unbeatable.